normally in the summertime, I'm out walking by 5.30 in the morning and my walk is Thames Street. And I'll go up and down Thames Street and I know every nook and cranny on Thames Street. Walking with Jim Streeter down Thames Street in Groton is like walking through a history book. Now where Paul's Pasta is, that block there, uh, years ago, Paul's Pasta, the, uh, the store was actually a, a tailor shop and then it turned into a little general store there. Uh, next to it was a, a meat market. Uh, next to that was a, a small little restaurant. It was called Mom's. Streeter is Groton's town historian and has lived in the neighborhood of Thames Street since childhood. My father opened up a fish and tackle store down on Thames Street. And I recall that the block he was in when he first moved here, the store next to him uh, was like an electronic store. And then he moved into a, a, a part of the, the block that was a formerly a drugstore. Next to his store, my father's store, was a liquor store. Next to that store was a barber shop. Next to that was a was a, uh, a cobbler. Next to that was another appliance store, which was also a big brick building, was also the Groton Hotel. The neighborhood along the Thames River had been a bustling collection of residences and small businesses, dating back to Groton's founding in the 18th century, when Thames Street was known as Bank Street. They started to develop their support system, uh, places where you could buy some groceries, places where you could buy lumber, uh, places where you could have work done, uh, blacksmith shops, and that it continued to evolve. Through the 20th century, the area continued to be a place where people lived, worked, and shopped in close proximity. So we had grocery stores, we had meat shops, we had barber shops, we had cobbler shops, uh, uh, we had uh, tailor shops, everything to support the people. And it really increased until about the, about the 70s, because that's when the shopping centers started opening up in the rural areas. And unfortunately, the mom and pops started dying out. The mom and pop stores, these small stores, started dying out. And now we're at the point today where they're almost extinct. I can go back and, and uh, look at directories from the late 60s, early 70s, where there were at least 70 businesses on the street. Today, you probably have about 15. When you walk Thames Street, and you see what's there and, and what I can remember what was there. And I'm saying, come on, folks, let's go. Let's, let's make Groton what it used to be.